Hey guys, what up, what up, what up, Beast here! Now let's talk about how to install OBS Studio. I know it is an easy process to do, but still some people get confused when they get asked questions they don't understand. So I've decided, what the fuck, let's cover that. And also if you already have OBS and you want to update it, it's actually the same thing, the same process. So, you ha at least for now, you have to install the new version. They still don't have an auto updater yet. So let's get right into it. So, if you don't have the latest version like me, I have OBS Studio 17 and I want to update it to OBS Studio 18. You can go to this link, which of course I put in the description below, and you need to download this file to update it. And actually, as you can see, they say that they have added an auto updater for Windows, which is very cool and very nice. Hopefully, we don't have to go through this process anymore. And one question I'm anticipating is what happens to your settings when you're trying to update and install the new version over the old one well i have a good news for you you don't need to worry everything stays the same everything you have set up from obs studio 17 stays on obs studio 18. okay now after we have downloaded the file just run it and all you need to do is you know next next agree next whatever they want just two things i wanted to mention one just make sure to put it in the right place where you want it to be, as in any other program, which in most cases people just don't care where it is being saved, but for others they do, so you need to do that in here. And two, when they ask about plugins right here, a lot of people don't even understand what are those, so let me explain. The browser plugin is very, very important. Even if you don't know what it is, just make sure it is checked because it is very helpful for streaming or if you want automated data from the web. And if you do know what it is and you don't think you're gonna use it, in my opinion, you should still download it because I'm pretty sure at some point you would wanna use it. And it's not like it is taking a lot of space on your desk or something. And the RealSense plugin is for RealSense cameras. If you don't know what a real sense camera is, then you probably don't need it. But I will still explain it fast for you anyway. What a real sense camera is, it has three cameras that act like one. A 1080p HD camera, an infrared camera, and an infrared laser projector. And all three of them, they see like the human eye to sense depth and track human motion. Okay, now let's hit the install button and at the end when you finish installing it is actually installed on top of the old one. So you don't need to delete the old one and then install the new one. Actually, it is pretty crucial to keep the old one if you want to keep your OBS settings. Now when it finishes the installation, I launch it and we are done. Um, actually, let me show you. Here is my OBS icon. Now when I try to open it, it is the new version as you can see in here. And as you can see, all my stuff are still there. Even though I've just installed it in front of you. All my settings are the same as they were. So you really don't need to worry about that. Hope I could help guys or answer some questions or ambiguities you might have had. And that's it. If you found it helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to get notified when my next video is up. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer your questions. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. See ya.